got them off the ice. Right? They, at this Yep, so I'm Lieutenant Colonel Melissa Hoagland. I am the commander for the 3rd Division Sustainment Troops Battalion. So right now we're in the middle of a multi-company uh, battalion level live fire exercise where we are practicing uh, area-based defense. So as a battalion headquarters, we are responsible for ensuring all of our companies can conduct their individual defenses and then we can consolidate that information to make sure everybody has the same common picture and the entire area of operation that we're responsible for is safe um, and has the security that it needs to make sure our soldiers can continue on with their missions. So base defense goes along the concept of creating an environment where our soldiers can safely execute their operations within their specific specialty MOSs in a hostile environment. So our specific jobs focus on finance, human resources, uh, field feeding, and some of the other things that are not normal maneuver MOSs that are fighting um, against the enemy forces. So our job is to create an area where we keep the enemy out and our soldiers within the area safe. Um, we set up multiple defensive measures and uh, measures that ensure that enemy who are observing us or potentially targeting us um, are not able to interfere with the overall support operations that we will then prepare and provide to the rest of the division and sometimes core level assets. So the biggest thing I think we're trying to get after with this exercise is the communication piece. So there is stress of no sleep, stress of enemy situations, stress of uh, handling equipment and weapon systems that you're not necessarily used to doing, uh, being hit with different scenarios that force you to consolidate and employ all the training that you've received before the actual training event, um, and just get after creating an environment where you can do actions on the objective and communicate it all the way up to the top. So 
Most of our, our job out here, specifically at our level, is making sure the communication flow is happening and everybody's asking those questions of what happened, who needs to know, and what do we need to do about it, or who do we pass it on to to make sure that the overall operation can continue to get after it. I think they're doing great. So this is not something that our sustainment soldiers get to do every day. So we have our heavy weapon systems from five different companies that are out here integrating together, um, managing sectors of fire, sharing the fire line, reporting casualties with each other. Uh, first sergeants talking to each other, commanders are talking to each other. So everybody's kind of getting together and making sure, again, that we have the right resources in the right place at the right time. Um, so we can continue to provide the support and defense so our finance guys can do their distribution operations. Our HHC can do their wrecker recovery operations, which we have leveraged multiple times out here. Um, and so uh, 90th can do, right now they're doing postal ops and then they're getting ready to brief us on a plan for uh, receiving replacements for the rest of the division as they're continuing their fight. Um, and then the field feeding company is doing real field feeding missions out here with us right now and then we're going to be pushing them to do some analysis on providing support to forward fleas with some of their assets. So.